to God. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent, and they asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning. Today is Gaudete Sunday, and the church invites us to rejoice. Gaudete in Latin means rejoice. Karong ikatulong na Domingo sa Adviento, ang simbahan nag-auhag kanato sa paglipay o pagsadya. And if you look at the one beside you, share a smile to that person. No, Share a smile no, sa inyong tupad diha. No, to give that hint of rejoicing. No? Ugon sa man ang hinungdan, ug rason sa atong paglipay, why do we rejoice? What is the reason for our joy? Tungod ba kay ang Misa de Gallo nagsugod na ug nagkaduol na ang Pasko sa pagkatao sa atong Ginoo? Ug naglipay kita tungod kay anay umaabot nga mga regalo nga atong madawat? O kahang uban nakadawat na tungod sa mga parties ug mga kasaulugan? Or are we waiting for somebody to give us or for us to share something to someone this Christmas? Mga kaigsuunan ko diha ni Kristo, 
Itang tanan ni ning ikatulo nga Domingo sa Adbiento sa Gaudete Sunday giauhag sa paglipay. And what is the reason or cause of our joy? Rejoice! This is what is proclaimed to us in St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians in today's second reading. He said, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Nindot kaayo kini nga pag-auhag ni San Pablo kanatong tanan o kining mensahe nga iyang gihatag kanato puno kaayo sa paglaom ug pagdasig kanatong tanan bisan diha sa kadaghan sa atong mga suliran o mga problema nga giatubang anaa kitay rason nga magmalipayon tungod kay nagbutang kita sa atong paglaom ug pagtuo diha sa atong Ginoong Heso Kristo madayon ang Pasko tungod Kang Kristo. This season, we're invited to go back to the Lord and prepare ourselves for Christ's coming as a commemoration of an event thousands of years ago and as an anticipation of His second coming at the end of time and His daily coming into our lives, especially in the sacraments. We rejoice when we are grateful. We rejoice when we are not selfish. We rejoice when we direct ourselves and others to the Lord. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. The prophet Isaiah in today's first reading recognizes the cause of his joy. He acknowledges the reason for it. Thus, he is grateful. And he continues by saying, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, it is very obvious that the reason for his mission the mission of Isaiah is God. And the one who anointed him and sent him is the Lord. And his message is all about the Lord. Many people, after years of labor and studies, came out to be successful in a particular career in life. And when asked how they were able to attain it, some would recognize the persons who have helped, who have guided and supported them in order to reach it. The past days, we have heard people na nakapasar sa mga board examinations. And we are grateful and we are happy for them. And surely, they are also grateful sa mga tao nga nitabang nila, sila mga maestro o maestra nga nagtudlo nila, o ilang, ang ilang pamilya na nag-encourage kanila. As they acknowledge these persons in their life and look back, they become grateful for their contribution to where they are at present. And this is what we have sung in the responsorial psalm today from the Magnificat of our Blessed Mother when our Blessed Mother said, From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. Mary recognizes that her being blessed is not by her own merit, but through God, who has done great things in her life. Ang atong mahal nga Birhin Maria, mi ila, nga siya na himong bulahan, dili tungod siyang kaugalingon nga pagpaningkamot o kahibalo o kaantigo, apan tungod sa gibuhat sa ginoo, diha sa iyang kinabuhi. Umausab kini sa kinabuhi ni Propeta Isaias. Iyang giila, ang presensya sa Dios diha sa iyang kinabuhi, Mao nga siya nagmalipayon ug nagmaya. Humility leads to gratitude and gratitude leads to appreciation of one's giftedness. Indeed, we rejoice when we are grateful for everything that we have and received and experienced from the Lord. In today's gospel, we are presented once again with the person of John the Baptist and he is described as a man sent by God 
to testify to the light. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is John's mission. And we heard later in the gospel how he was faithful to the mission and trusted to him despite the questions asked. He was to point everyone to the light, Jesus Christ, and not to himself. John has his own admission to make. In the gospel, he said, One mightier than I will be coming, and I am not even worthy to untie the sandals. And this is an activity which a servant performs to the master. John's aim was not to occupy the center of the stage himself, but try to connect everyone to the one who was greater and stronger than he. The people listened to John because he pointed not to himself, but to the one to whom all men need. Indeed, we rejoice when we direct ourselves and others to the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, as we approach the commemoration of our Lord's birth, the liturgy invites us today to rejoice. We rejoice, <clears throat> we rejoice heartily in the Lord despite our present situations, challenging situations. We rejoice when we are grateful. We rejoice when we direct ourselves and others to the Lord as John the Baptist did. As we celebrate this Eucharist today, let us recall the many graces and blessings that we have received from the Lord, especially as we end this year, 2023. May we be led to gratitude and thanksgiving. Let us also look back at the instances in our lives when we ourselves have led our brothers and sisters closer to Jesus. For you, who is the cause of your joy? Hopefully, it is the Lord Jesus himself who comes to be born with us and in us this Christmas. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith in our loving and merciful God. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from love, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the messenger of the Father's eternal love. You are the desire of the nations and the Savior of the world. Therefore, we come to you and say, Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Assist your church in the preparation for your coming arouse our hearts to a living hope for your second coming. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. 
strengthen your reign over the whole earth, especially in countries that are experiencing reawakening of their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Reveal to all your power and your love through the celebration of your birth. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Raise to everlasting life those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and now rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. In silence, we bring to you our other intentions. We pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, the whole of creation longs for your coming when you will save, sanctify, and perfect the world. We praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. Amen. all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery 
and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Oh, 
us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
for our coming Christmas Eve celebration. We shall have it on December 24 at 8 o'clock in the evening. December 24, Sunday, we shall still have our two Masses of the Christmas Novena at 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the morning. In the evening, instead of the 6 p.m., we shall have the 8 o'clock Christmas Eve Mass. We thank you for joining us in this Holy Mass today, and we pray as well for your families. And those who could not join us, we include them as well in this blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. Keep your family safe, O Lord, we pray, and grant them the abundance of your mercies, that they may find growth through the teachings and the gifts of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.